Did you know that one bag of normal saline solution contains the same amount of sodium as 20 bags of potato chips? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Nurse Catherine here. In today's video, we will be talking all about normal saline solution, what it is and what types of patients we use this for. This is the start to a four week series all about IV fluids. Before I get this video started, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel to help this video get out there to other students or other nurses just like yourself. Also be sure to comment down below and give this video a big thumbs up as this all helps the YouTube algorithm get this video out there. But other than that, let's get this video started all about normal saline solution. Now to start what even is normal saline solution? Well, normal saline solution can also be called 0.9% saline. The 0.9 stands for salt or also known as NaCl. But to break it down further than that, let's talk about that percentage. The 0.9% stands for 0.9 grams of salt per every 100 milliliters that is in the liter bag. Or you could say there are nine grams of salt in a liter bag. Now, in nursing school or in chemistry class, you may have heard that normal saline solution is considered an isotonic crystalloid. So what the heck does that even mean? Let's break it down even further. So jumping back to chemistry class here, isotonic means having the same osmotic pressure as another solution. The concentration of our body also known as the osmolality, is 280 to 295. Now the osmolality of a 0.9% normal saline solution is 308. So you see these are just about the same osmolality or you could say the same concentration. That is what makes this an isotonic solution because of the osmolality being that of our own body. So now let's get into some scenarios. When would you use normal saline solution? The most common scenarios that I see normal saline solution being used is during dehydration, administration of blood products, during dialysis, diluting medications, maintenance fluids, a patient suffering with metabolic alkalosis, and during resuscitation, or also known as CPR. Now, normal saline solution is not always the first pick when it comes to these scenarios, especially with those patients with heart or kidney issues. Your patients with heart and kidney issues, you really have to make sure you do not fluid overload them. The amount of salt that is in a bag, a liter bag of normal saline solution can be too much for these patients and will or may cause that patient to become fluid overloaded because they are holding onto too much salt. And lastly, something else to remember is that normal saline solution is acidotic. Our body's pH is between 7.35 to 7.45. The pH of normal saline solution ranges from 4.5 to 7. So as you see, our pH in our body is higher and the pH in a bag of normal saline is lower. This is something that is also important to remember if your patient is in the resuscitation phase or is getting CPR and you're giving normal saline solution, you have to be mindful that you may make this patient acidotic now. So normal saline solution is not given to every single patient for the exact same thing. It's very dependent on what the provider is wanting to prescribe and what they think is best for this patient. I hope this video has helped you understand normal saline solution a little bit more and helped you understand what types of scenarios that we use normal saline solution in. Remember, this is just the first week of a four week series all about IV fluids. I might not hit all of them, but I'm going to try my best. 
But other than that, that is it for today's video. Please make sure you are subscribed so this video can reach other viewers just like yourself. And make sure you do hit that like button and comment below as it all helps the YouTube algorithm. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next video.